in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. My brothers and sisters, once again I greet you. Good morning. I'm Marie Louise Omomararungo. I just come to help you to thank God. He has protected us during the last week. Now he's planning many, many great things to us for this coming week or this coming time because in front of us there is a future. The future which start from this time because now we are in the present, our present time which follows automatically with the future means the five minutes coming are the future because we don't know what could happen in those coming five minutes from now. Brothers and sisters, five minutes ago for us is the past because we know what happened in five minutes, hallelujah, past. But we don't know what will come in five minutes coming. That is why we have to thank God. Most of the time, we look from the past and we can assume that the future will be good. Even our heart can believe that we will have a very nice future. This is because we trust in Jesus, we trust in God. My brothers and sisters, let us continue believing, trusting in Jesus, and pray for those who are not in him. Today, the key of the prayer is Psalm 37. This is the psalm which saying it the destiny of the wicked and of the good. May God bless you, my dear friends. I love you, you have to know. Let us pray. Don't be worried on account of the wicked. Don't be jealous of those who do wrong. They will soon disappear like grass and uh, that dries up. They will die like plants that wither. Trust in the Lord and do good. Live in the land and be safe. Seek your happiness in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desire. Give yourself to the Lord. Trust in him and he will help you. He will make your righteousness shine like the noonday noon sun. Be patient and wait for the Lord to act. Don't be worried about those who prosper or those who succeed in their evil plans. Don't give in to the worry or anger it only leads to trouble. 
Those who trust in the Lord will possess the land, but the wicked will be driven out. Soon the wicked will disappear. You may look for them, but you won't find them. The thunder, the, the humble will possess the land and enjoy prosperity and peace. The wicked plot again against good people and glare at them with hate. But the Lord laughs at the wicked people because he knows they will soon be destroyed. The wicked draw their sword and bend their bows to kill the poor and needy. So slaughter those who do what is right. But they will be killed by their own swords and their bow will be smashed. The little that a good person owns is worth more than the wealth of all the wicked because the Lord will take away strength of the wicked but protect those who are good. The Lord takes care of those who obey him and the land will be theirs, theirs forever. They will not suffer when times are bad. They will have enough in time of famine. But the wicked will die. And the enemies of the Lord will vanish like weird flowers. They will disappear like smoke. The wicked borrow and never pay back. But good people are generous with their gifts. Those who are blessed by the Lord will possess the land. But those who are caused, caused by him will be driven out. The Lord guides people in the way they should go and protects those who please him. If they fall, they will not stand, stay down because the Lord will help them up. I'm old now. I have lived a long time, but I have never seen good people abandoned by the Lord or their children begin begging for food. At all times, they give freely and lend to others, and their children are blessing. from evil and do good and your descendants will always live in the land for the Lord loves what is right and does not abandon his faithful people he protects them forever but the descendants of the wicked will be driven out The righteous will possess the land and live in it forever. The words of good people are wise and they are always fail. They keep the law of their, the, their God in their hearts and never depart, depart from it. Wicked people watch good people and try to kill them. 
But the Lord will not abandon them to their enemies' power, or let them be abandoned when they are on trial. Put your hope in the Lord and obey his commands. He will honor you by, by giving you the land, and you will see the wicked driven out. I once knew a wicked and a rather person. He told of uh, everyone like Sedo of Lebanon. But later I passed by and he was not there. I looked for him but couldn't find him. These good people observe the righteous, peaceful people have descendants, but the sinners are completely destroyed and their descendants are whipped out. The Lord saves the righteous and protects them in the time of trouble. He helps them and restores them. He saves them from the wicked because they go to him for protection. Alleluia. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we have a lot to thank God, and the psalm of today is telling us how we have to, be ha to behave when we are waiting for His coming back. The Bible and the psalm of today is telling us to not to be worried on account of the wicked, not to be jealous of those who do wrong. They will soon disappear like grass that dries up. They will die like plants that wither. That is true. Most of the time when we meet bad people and we see that how they prosper, we feel jealous of them. And sometimes we wanted to imitate them, to do like them, so that we can prosper like them. Brothers and sisters, the Bible today says, don't do like them, like them, don't be like them, because they will soon disappear like grass and it dries up. They will die like plants that wither. Brothers and sisters, the Bible is putting our mindset out of how we have, have planned, planned because the way we plan our future sometimes we say even if it is to do bad I can do but I need that I need this I need the money I need this I need a friend I need this and this 
most of the time we know ladies who do bad to have the gentlemen who are not there they for them yes they do because they don't care about what could happen they don't matter about what is going on but for them they want to do what they have planned brothers and sisters don't be like them don't be like those who say no matter how it will be i will take this husband of this woman because i like her, him I, or no matter how it is i will do this and this brothers and sisters this is the time of thanking God, yes, but also thinking about our life, our spiritual life. I try to make the light into your mind so that you can see what you have to do to thank God. You have many, 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 many. And for me, I just come to remind you, my brothers and sisters, Jesus will not leave us. He will always be with us. He will protect us because without him we can die. We can automatically die. I thank you, Jesus, because you are our protection. You are the hard rock. Hallelujah. And we, for us, we are on you. And nothing can shake us. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.